Developing news tonight in the still unsolved high-end jewelry heist from a Brinks truck. Yeah, KCAL Assignment Editor Mike Rogers is at the desk with new information tonight. Mike, this case has been a confusing one from the start. It's been confusing because there's basically three sides to this. There's Brinks side, and they're the ones that operated the armored truck. There's the jewelry side of this, and then actually what the Sheriff's Department is saying. And depending on whose number you're listening to, this could be the biggest jewel heist in history. We want to show you some of the jewels that were stolen. This is from a story we did back uh, right after the incident happened. We spoke to some of the jewelry who lost their uh, you know jewels here diamonds gems all kinds of different things now these new details indicate that uh, there was a suspicious man that the uh, armored car crew noticed at this show in San Mateo they were at uh, they described him as they were loading up that truck of just sitting there staring at him saying they made direct eye contact with him and the person one of the armored car personnel said I've never felt a feeling like that and it was very very strange that comment made more than once both at the scene uh, when they called law enforcement and during a deposition. Now, I want to come to my computer here and I'm going to show you uh, this uh, tr uh, transcript of body camera video. It's 142 pages that I've gone through. And these are kind of the moments right here where they notice how many are missing. They say, I've counted 49. And somebody else says, 49 out of how many? Out of 73. That means 24 bags of jewels were stolen. Now, the, con uh, the contesting point here between Brinks and the jewelers is exactly how much that was worth. As we come back out here to the desk, Brinks has filed in these lawsuits paperwork that shows how much the jewelers told them the diamonds and the, uh, the jewels were valued at, uh, having that number close to 10 million. However, in the lawsuits, the jewelers now claim it's closer to $100 million. So quite a disparity between what the Brinks company was told was in the truck and what the jewelers are now suing for. So this whole thing going through judi the judicial process, rather. And as for the suspects, the sheriff's department says they're still outstanding, guys. All right, Mike, thank you so much for that update.